While today is a celebration for many, it is also a source of deep hurt for our Indigenous community. Thousands have taken to the streets to mark the day of mourning, Invasion Day or Survival Day. In the lead up to the 26th of January, each year, like clockwork, I can just feel this sense of exhaustion and grief coming from my community, coming from within my own experiences as well. The fact that we're having the same conversations every year and it's, you know, it's, it's always a drag for First Nation people. It's, it's always something that's spiritually draining and emotionally draining and, and there's this cloud that just hovers around that, you know, is, is super dark. January 26 fills me with a lot of trepidation. I feel a bit fearful um, because it's also a moment where I'm reminded that the country wants to forget me. It keeps saying that this is the most important story. The arrival of the First Fleet is the most important story that defines our nation. And I know it's different than that. I want Australians to sort of look at the narrative through our lens and actually realise that this was a day where there was war declared on our nations across this country. Innocent civilians from our society were murdered and it began a change of our lives and our destinies. The 26th of January has always been to me and my community a day of mourning or a day of survival. Our thoughts were articulated in 1938 in the Declaration of the Day of Mourning. Certainly in summary, 1938 was about calling for equity. Equity in terms of access to employment, education, housing, health. There were certainly calls for national representative bodies, a body that would represent us all equally across the nation. All of these things have not occurred. I reckon that as Australians, we have a real identity problem. We, we think that we're young and scrappy and we're lucky, where in fact, we should be elders on the world stage. We have the oldest living culture on earth and it's here in this landscape. And the more we think that we can learn from Indigenous Australia, rather than thinking of it as a deficit model, then I think we'll have an Australia Day that's more important and embraced by everyone. So Australia, how fortunate you are to play host to the oldest people, the first astronomers, the first bakers, the first farmers. That is incredible. Let's celebrate that together and that's what makes this unique nation's point of difference to the rest of the globe. I'll be spending January 26 the same way I spend January 26 every year, with my family, with fellow First Nation people sitting and reflecting and celebrating the oldest continual documented culture of mankind in the world. I've always spent it amongst my community, with my community. That generally is the way I celebrate Australia Day, or dare I use the word, commemorate Australia Day, as a day in which I want to be with my community, where I feel safe, I feel valued, and I don't have to justify who I am. In order for me to feel authentic in celebrating this country and, and celebrating Australia Day, I think a change of the date is absolutely necessary and to be quite honest is the bare minimum. So if January the 26th was a day of reflection and commemoration and then perhaps another date is a day of the Australian nation coming together and celebrating the diversity that makes up the fibre of this incredible country that we are now. I reckon we spend a lot of energy saying change the date, change the date, when in fact the energy needs to be change the minds and hearts of Australians. Let's have a voice to parliament. Let's talk about treaty. Let's talk about sovereignty. Let's make permanent changes that actually help us all grow as Australians. We need to build something, some identity that's from deep within and it starts with our relationship with this country, our relationship with the First Peoples, and then this idea of how we can work together to make structural change and not just the window dressing.
Hi, I'm Lee Sales. Thanks for watching this story. If you'd like to watch more of 7.30's stories, they are on the left of your screen. And tap on the button below to subscribe and get the latest from ABC News.